Boy, just be yourself. If people don't like it, if you're being yourself, fuck them. Yeah. Big Los. Hello again. And welcome to another episode of The Noise. If you haven't yet, go ahead and follow us on the Big Three Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Noise Podcast. And follow everything Beat Network at BeatNetworkOnline.com. This is another one of those tired as hell days, but apparently y'all enjoy them. The last episode did some pretty good numbers. Oh, right. <laughs> So I think boy, was tired too. Boy, exhausted. So <laughs> here come another one. <laughs> uh, but this time we actually got an extra voice sitting in the building. Yeah. Um, one of the B network workers, the one that, you know, stays behind the scenes and the ones yeah, that yep. they always seem to, to ask what's going on. If you want to talk about cats that get asked more questions about B networks than me, this nigga. <laughs> And nobody asked me shit, so it's all it's you know, all up in there. And we're gonna get to what's hilarious <laughs> about that too. But uh welcome, my brother from another Skylar Ward. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you, thank you for having me. I, I ain't been on since I talked about my book. I feel like that's yeah. oh, that was like a year ago. That was a while ago. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was a while, while ago. ago. You know, I don't like getting on the mic too much. I like my position here because <laughs> nobody has to deal with me. But at least I know that this episode is now gonna Skyrocket in the hundreds because they people seem to enjoy <laughs> when, when when Sky Lows link up again. <laughs> Even though I think it's more of the Sky part than the actual Lows part. Uh, uh, they like the teddy bear. Oh yeah, that's you. That's you right there. God damn it, well, I'm here. God damn, it, I'm on my I'm on my bald Barry White. Barry White had the best ponytail all the way up to this day. <laughs> like, I think about, I mean, I lost my hair at 19 and Barry White died in his 60s with a full <laughs> head of luxurious hair and the deepest voice ever. I'm going away, baby. And, like, and that was just it. <laughs> what if um, he said that when he knew? Yeah, I'm going away. That, that'd be hilarious. I, it's some people who's had like last words like no, that. No, I know. I know. I'm saying it'd be funny for him because his voice is deep. So it'd be funny. <laughs> it's like, he's gone, but I felt that. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Uh, I forgot to get to all the announcements. October 12th at the Truth Spot LV, Cognac Conversations, keeping it 100. Come and celebrate with us. The uh, the majority, if not all, of the Beat Network family will be there. So come party with all of us. If you got your RSVPs, make sure you get your drink. And if you don't, you can get your drink there. Other than that, a week before that, we will be in New York for Comic-Con. 4th through the 7th is going to be a good time. Come party with the peoples. Yeah, we can leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> so what's funny is Kev always says on this show that no one ever hits him up. <laughs> no one ever reaches out to him. Let's be clear, though. Him. I'm just stating the fact. I don't care that they don't hit me yet. But but this is why y'all need to start hitting him up. <laughs> no, no. Specifically, Kev. No. We did. The, uh, we, we were on the Kaleidoscope today. Shout out to... Um, to raise the gym for bringing us up on our yeah, show. Appreciate that. Um, had a fucking great time with yeah, them. Great yeah. interview. Um, I see we're getting them some views as well mm-hmm. uh, outside of the views they already get. So that's a great feeling. It's an amazing thing. So shout out to the Kaleidoscope for having us on the show today. One thing she mentioned on the show was people hit her up about the yeah, noise. That was wild to me. <laughs> and it's funny because like, I, I guess she has been around enough mm-hmm. for people to think okay she must be an affiliate of beat or whatever the case is so when we miss episodes and stuff like that they hit her up like yo so what, what's going on with the noise she's like you gotta ask them like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's that's they business i don't know what's going on with it <laughs> so the fact that kev is so unapproachable <laughs> apparently <laughs> they outsource to other shows <laughs> to get inter- inter- information <laughs> about the noise i must say i'm proud of this because as skylar here is witness no one ever would talk to me when it came down to sigma I was the one really? nigga that no one ever expressed interest for. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, you know, I got this dude, he coming in, this, this dude, he want to be a signal. I'm like, no one ever tells me they want to be a signal. Like, cause you're scary, low. So I'm like, well, I smile. I smile a lot. In, right. In the people's defense, in those days, you and I were always together. We were always together. So anytime True. somebody told me they wanted to be a signal, you were there. So you got told, you just didn't care. <laughs> yeah, you didn't seem like you, you would care about, much you, back you then. You sat there. I mean, they'd be like, yeah, I want to get down. You'll look at them like, get down. <laughs> <laughs> You're a non-hazing organization. Right. Like, well, we don't, we don't get down. Which, 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 which one I do? We just join. Signs, <laughs> paperwork, pay some money. Take a picture. Here's a pen. <laughs> you just go from there. But um, no, nah, I found that hilarious when they brought that up on the show. I'm like, yeah, damn, I was like, damn. 
But it's, it's not me. I didn't do it nothing. It has to I be. Didn't, <laughs> but I didn't do nothing. You I have 17 I, friends on Facebook, Ken. Nah, I, I got more than that. No, I got I got friends on Facebook. I just don't talk to them. But I got I friends on them. Facebook. Okay. Your bio on the website that tells people that they can catch these hands if they don't think basketball is the greatest sport. You're no, ready, I don't. You're ready to fight. No, role. no, I changed that. I don't have that anymore. Anymore. No, I'm talking about on the on the website on on the B Network. That online. ain't got nothing to do with me. That's all you. You approved. Oh. Oh. No, you wrote that. But you got to remember around that time it got wrote. No, to actually, that's Dwayne. Shout out to Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne wrote that. Right. He, he's not here to defend but, himself. But, but, we're saying, but what we're saying is, I ain't have nothing to do with that. So, well, like the, the, the bio went to you. You approved, and if you remember correct, yeah. that's kind of that kind of was your catchphrase mm. in like the first eighty mm. episodes. <laughs> <laughs> You were definitely inviting people to catch what you were throwing, which was these well, hands. Well, I am a nonviolent guy. I, I don't. I don't indulge. <laughs> okay. In, <laughs> I don't indulge in violence. You know what I mean. So I am approachable. I'm not saying do it, but you can and be okay. okay approach Kevin. these guys. Approach them. Lois and Skyler is the people so you want to talk the to. Next beat network like poll or question is coming from Kevin. <laughs> Just to get people to talk to Kev. Right. I'm going forward to one of y'all. I feel like Kev has a different profile. He's going to answer himself. I'm going <laughs> to speak conversation with I'm going to screenshot every message that Kev's for us, and I'm going to tag the person in the message. Like, you see how he treat fans? Yeah, <laughs> you out of line. Like, <laughs> Phil, you see what he did? You see what he did? <laughs> Whoever the hell Phil is. But shout out to Phil. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I am so tired. I am trying my best right now. <laughs> Listen, man. You get that second win? Uh, smearing off and deucing. Oh, he good, he good I, over I'm there. A, I'm in my full Friday. Yeah. <laughs> it my is Friday. Friday. It Hell is Friday. T-shirt. Yeah, he. Like, I'm good. good. I'm living Precise. life. Go. It is, <laughs> it is my Sunday. I'm getting right back to the money tomorrow. Not looking forward to that. But what I am happy about is this is going to be a very short week for me. Mm-hmm. It's Saturday till Tuesday. Then I got Wednesday off. We fly out Wednesday night. Then it's New York. So technically, it's still more work. So at least I kind of get that chill day on Wednesday before getting right back to the hustle and bustle. But the, the hustle, but at least hustle and bustle to. isn't like like in Vegas. Exactly. It's, you know what I mean? Now it's mad aggressive and it's wearing Tim's. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go now, that's just about to be the entire. That's my energy the whole time. I got to get my my New York slang right. It's going to be a lot of dead ass. Dead it's going to be a, dead ass. Huh? Saying dead done. Ass, Everywhere I go, I'm playing Mob Deep Shook ones. I feel like that's like a theme song <laughs> in New York. Song New York. Like, I'm telling you, as soon as I touch down, I just need y'all to picture it. As soon as I touch down, I step off the plane. I'm in Tim's. I'm going to get on the plane with Adidas. I'm going to get off the plane with Tim's. <laughs> and they start the camera from the bottom, from the shoes. And from as soon as I step up. off, word up, sir, word up. <laughs> <laughs> just scroll up. Doom, 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 doom. I got a goose on. I don't care if it a is. Goose? <laughs> goose? Is it going to be like a goose? Right, a goose? I don't think so. I think it's going to be, <laughs> pretty sure it's gonna be like the 70s or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't that. think it's going to be like that. I'm still going to have a goose on. You're going to look like a suspect. True, true. Not getting out the air. Now I'm gonna look like I'm trying to lose weight because that's gonna be damn near like <laughs> the bubble wrap that people be putting on when they go jogging and shit. Like, oh nah, come on, making man. all that goddamn noise. I'm gonna be loud as hell. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Real staticky. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers walk past me, and just catch them, and they show the. Like, Ow! I should have been walking on carpet. You gotta relax. Gang can't walk next to a person in a goose. Can't collect all this goddamn static. Seventy degree goose. As we normally do, uh, we'll, we'll we'll start with you, Kev. And we'll, we'll get to. Author. No, we're letting the guest start. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> we letting, letting the guest go first. See how Kev's already like brushing shit right. off. He's just taking all the rest, all the responsibility. He's about to lose me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be on the show no more. But you know what? Ahead. I'm gonna go. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 well, Sky, how was your week, sir? Man, you know, the week's been good. I ain't gonna stop. Week's been good. Like we talked about earlier, I'm accepting that exhausted. This is my new normal. This is my high. That's the regular. I just, this is what adulting feels like. Mm-hmm. I think I finally get it. You know, I'm approaching 30th birthday in November, and uh, these weeks are just starting to wear on the body. I wake up Monday morning thinking about Friday. Night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how I get there. I just need, I, I need to make it. <laughs> I just need to get to Friday and then smearing off and do say, and then I'm good. I'm there good. you go. This weekend, uh, you know what I'm saying? Going to New Orleans with the lady. 
you know, go tell New Orleans. I, I wanted some gumbo and some etouffee, and I didn't want to pay a thousand dollars on the strip. I have. I just have one request. Yeah. One request. Just chip out the fifty. Go ahead and get you a parade. Because that's the first thing I'm doing when I go to New Orleans. I'm going on Bourbon Street and I'm paying for a parade. He has to play Gangsta's Paradise in repeat in parade parade band. Wait, you can <laughs> go to Bourbon Street and have him put on a parade? Yeah, what? you ain't know that? Nah. You can literally buy your own parade. Yeah, that's intense. Yeah, nigga. Because <laughs> I'm an R&B dude. Me too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't think they're allowed to play that. I don't think I'm pretty sure they can dance. figure it out. I don't think the instruments make those noise. I'm trying to get Gangsta Paradise. Yeah, I, if, if it's a parade for me, I, I'd be a rap guy then too. <laughs> sure. I mean, a parade? Yeah. yeah. I need to know what a Bourbon Street band version of motivation sounds like. I'm just going to step out and just rap all of Kendrick's verse as soon as it gets to that part. Like, somebody get a camera, film me, niggas, my moment. (laughs) Anyway, I'm sorry, sir. Continue. I just had to throw that in there. Other than that, man, the week has been good. I kind of like fell down on y'all today because I had nothing else to do. You know, told you, like, my girl leave. I realized I don't have no fucking life. Like, I'm a, <laughs> I don't a do nothing. Ass dude, my G, like everything fun about my life that's in my pictures on Facebook is me and her and some fucking feathers at a Caribbean summer. <laughs> so it's like we're having a don't great forget time. the it's feathers. <laughs> I'm chilling. I don't really do nothing but go to the gym. <laughs> and and, I, and I, I, you know, you don't post that many gym pictures of yourself <laughs> as a dude. You know, he that left arm so much. Like, <laughs> I saw that arm before. That nigga does the same pose. He's, he's, he's in here with a, <laughs> he's in here with a bulls fitted with a feather in it now. It looks like a hood Robin Hood, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it, man. I appreciate y'all for having me on today. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you was in the area. <laughs> you were in the neighborhood. Literally on the street. Might as well. Ask, I slide <laughs> <laughs> like, sure. Don't take much. When it got know. food, watch <laughs> snowfall. <laughs> right. It really don't take much. Just ask. <laughs> you around? <laughs> Want me on the show? <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. Right. <laughs> what you doing today? I'll come through. All right. Slide, 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 slide through. Slide through. Uh, Kev, now, how was your week? Shit, the same as all mother weeks. Boring. I don't all do right. nothing. I don't. Chill, what did I do today? I ain't did nothing today. Did nothing last week. I'm a boring. I'm a boring guy too. Listen, don't don't take that for granted. <laughs> I really don't do. That. I'm not take like, full like, advantage. Well, of the I'm board. in a place right now where it, it kind of sucks because like I'm I want to do stuff. I want to be out, be kind of in the mix. Um, but as of right now, like there's really nothing for me to do. So I'm bored. I, I guess in a few years we'll be like, all right, I wish I could just chill. But right now, no, nah, I'm trying to go. You can go make some friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to go make some friends. Yeah, I, I do. I'm concerned. I do. Yeah, they can't I need step to. outside Debo some friends. Right. I need it. You no, come I need here. To get out. I don't. I You're don't. My buddy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm way too introverted because I, Ollie, I know people that are more introverted than me, but I am definitely an introvert. Like, I don't. Just leave me alone. I've seen some introverted people that's like, over the top with it though. It gets straight weird after a while. Yeah. Like, what's, like why are you holding yourself? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. I'm, you okay? Like it's too many people around. It's too, why are you whispering? It's too, it's too many people. <laughs> I wouldn't even say it's introverted. I, w- I would say it's, it's more or less if I don't you know, if I know I'm not going to enjoy it, I don't want to do it regardless on what's going on. You know what I mean? Like I'll get out for something I want to do. Hell yeah. We get out there. Cool. But if I don't want to do it, nah, I'm chilling. That makes sense. I, I, I can give it that. Yes. That's where I'm at in my life. Because yeah. like I literally I will not do anything for obligation. Exactly. If I don't want to, I'm, I'm not, not gonna do it. Leaving my house. Yeah. Right? I'm just not coming outside. It has to be family. Mm. Close calls me. All right, all right, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, New York. You know what I'm, like, I'm up, but you know, you think we friends? Ask me to hang out. Hey, last tell minute. Tell you where our friendship is. Because if I don't yeah. go outside, we ain't really. Yeah. <laughs> we like, just I, did, cool. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. <laughs> How was your week, sir? Uh, again, I'm, I'm getting back to that. Take advantage of all this boredom. <laughs> like the shit that I have going on now, I keep, I look back on the days where I was in college and I'm like, I'm bored. Why didn't I just be like, I'm bored? Yeah. <laughs> I'm relaxed and I'm chilling, bro. I miss having nothing to do. My week was was busy. We was unnecessarily busy. A lot of bullshit at work. 
as well at mm-hmm. the at the t- terrestrial job is what we'll call it this time. Um, other than that, it's just keeping busy. Not trying to keep busy, but keeping busy. Got some new equipment that came in uh, that's going to help us out when we get to New York. So I'm happy to get that, get that cracking and get that going. Other than that, man, it's just been just getting by. I think I've got oh, some. Can I ask for? Yeah, exactly. I think I've got some some things figured out that uh, is going to help uh, beat in the long run. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to go forward with that. I want to make an announcement so bad, but the the agreement isn't signed. Sealed and delivered. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know that I know that y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's just like ah, I, I just I just want to know to the ear hustlers that listen. If you are in the DMV area, just let us know. Just be like, hey. So, <laughs> looking at you know the landscape of what happened this week, so let's talk about it. Cosby, Fat Al, Little Bill, <laughs> however you know him, three to ten years. And has to register as a violent sexual predator. Hmm. I personally think he's going to do two and then do one one year of house arrest. Because mm-hmm. if they if he if he's forced to do the ten, he's not making it out. <laughs> so we, oh, yeah. yeah, we can go ahead and just chalk that up. He already got a hot dog bun through at him. That's day. what I heard. I I was sad and I thought that the, was the funniest <laughs> visual the gesture was hilarious, to yeah. hear about because it was like he tripped down the steps and they got a hot dog. That's a fucked up first hour in jail. <laughs> like we ain't even getting to the beat up into the raping. We getting straight. I tripped and I got a hot dog bun on him. He's like ah damn Bill shit. <laughs> but um I I, I do want to get some some opinions and let's let's shake some shit up real quick. We'll, we'll, we'll start with Kev this time since he likes to. Um, Pitch it to other people. I do. I do want to say, like, like what he did. I don't condone that. You know, what I mean, if he did that, you're you're a piece of shit for doing that. Whatever the case is. However, I do feel that they're kind of making an example out of him because it's a lot of other sexual predators out there that ain't getting that jail time. Mm-hmm. That's barely getting charged. I mean, we've known about Harvey Weinstein for what a year now. They still ain't in jail. We 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 heard about Bill Bill Cosby. He did this get year. indicted though. Okay, yeah, okay, great. He did, he did at least get Didn't we hear about Bill Cosby this year? Was that this year? Or with or with like, these rapes? Yeah. Was that no, this year? This or, is, I'm sorry, for his trial, like. Trial wise, uh, at least this trial, I think it was this year. Um, in a nutshell, I'm trying to say that it seems like they got rid of his case, so to speak, quickly, mm-hmm. opposed to other people, and that's kind of odd to me. But, I mean, I don't, I don't see him doing, I, I don't see him doing three person. I think he's going to do a year. Maybe get out, house arrest, probation, whatever the case is. But I don't know. His best bet right now yeah. is to slip up on some cancer. That's the only way he's going to do anything less than at least the two. Could be. Yeah. Like, cause like you said, they, they got to make an example. Could be. Could be. I, I don't know. I think it's kind of messed up. Again, he should pay for his crimes, but I think the way they're going about it is a little bit strange to me. Skyler? <laughs> I got a lot of opinions. Yeah, that's fine. That's what the right. show's here for. Disclaimer. I have a daughter, and I have a woman, so I don't agree with the crime in in question. Right. So my problem, right, I can't point it out. There's a lot of people on this list, you know, so I don't like that he's doing state time and not federal time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because any legal, any project that understands the law, you understand that they're going to use this case as a kind of a, a stage or a platform for the rest of it. Mm-hmm. So you know he got three to ten. Three for good behavior type shit. Like, worst case, these guys get these these sentences and, you know, violent sexual predator. Mm-hmm. He does three. 36 years of torment this woman's had to live with for whatever may have and may not have occurred. He does three years. At least, right. At least three, right? So that's what's going to happen to your... You know, you want to see everybody else is. Yeah, I, I get what you're at, saying. At least three. And I, that's the part of it I don't like. I don't think people are catching that he got state time. Right. He's not doing federal. He never get, didn't become a federal offense. Um, two, it, it, it is sad to see because he, he held so much. Right. Yeah, I think you for know, us it's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like watching a hero not be right. a hero. Right. You know, you and you get that, right? As a kid, you grow up, you realize your parents are just fucking people because they're kind of shitty. Like, you know, you get it, <laughs> you know, but it's like watching your grandpa. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's your grandpa. He was already old. You already knew your time with him was limited anyway. Right. And now he's dealing with this. You guys are giving him a lot of credit of time and getting out and continuing life. I am with Charlemagne the God. And I'm like, he ain't making it out this right. first year. Mm-hmm. I firmly believe he's going to die. Stress his first is a bitch, year. right. Because uh, it, it, it's a shift. Yeah. That is a hard shift. And yeah. if anybody's ever watched an old person get old, what keeps them kind of going are the routines of life right, and the, and the right. happy things. And then you remove them from that routine or, you know, the spouse dies first. The other spouse isn't too far behind them. God forbid, you know, something happens to, to Dr. Cosby's wife on the, while he's on the inside. That's one, two. They're gone. Yeah, I don't yeah. see him making it out of prison alive. Mm. Um, not that anybody's going to do something to him or. Throw another hot dog bun that's more stale. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I'm sitting I just on think, this one for three weeks. <laughs> right. I just don't see him, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't see him making it out mentally. The stress that I've seen young people, you see young people go to jail yeah. and come out and look old as fuck, broke right. down as hell. Mm-hmm. He's already old as fuck. Right. And broke down. And broke down. Broke down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then they were reporting about the, you know, the finance side of it and all the l- legal fees he owed. Mounting in hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying he doesn't have it. I'm not saying he does have it. All I'm saying is that's just even more. It's compounding stress. I don't right, yeah, see him making more. it out. Right. And this is a, yes, he did what he did. I'm not taking nothing away from that. I'm not saying his legacy should overshadow his crime. What I am saying is that is a fucked way to go out. And then I, as a, as a black man, um, you know, I, I bring it, I bring it home. We were college. Mm. We're Greek. We had a frat house. A lot of things happened in our house, not to say anything like that, but there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of, you know, parties and people and unaccounted for time and things going on. I would fucking hate to make it to my eighties. Mm. And then a woman comes forth and say something happened to her in our house. And now we're all in a court case for something that we may and or may not have known about. Mm, yeah. um, and then, so that's the other part of this is there, you know, there, that's a lot of weight. I feel like, you know, and, and, and not to say that the crime, there should be a statute of limitations to the crime because I understand the mental health uh, ramifications of that. But I am saying, fuck dude, like right. that's just a hell of a way yeah. to, his whole fucking career has been epic. What's, and then you drop the mic on that. Right. right. Yeah. Like, like scholars say, it's a fucked up situation. Uh, it's definitely a fucked up situation. And that's, um, <laughs> that's kind of, that's how I feel about it. Um, I, I have two different, well, not two different things, but I, I my on the fence moment is what I, mm-hmm. I basically say. Um, on the side of the sexual deviancy, three to 10 years for all this time later, honestly, I think is fair. I personally, you know, I, I don't fuck with sexual predators. I don't fuck with sexual assault. Mm-hmm. I've said it on the show before that I, they should go the route of that show that I watched where they put a rapist in the middle of a, of a, uh, some very violent women, let them <laughs> beat nigga to death. Right. That's where I stand and that's where I always stand. Um, him getting his time absolutely deserved. The issue that I have with it, and this is what I, th- and, and this is, one thing that's pissing me off when it comes to niggas because they're making the argument like if these dudes are free, Cosby should be free. That's not the argument. It's if Cosby's in jail, mm-hmm. these they dudes should be in jail. jail. Right. Exactly. And that's where my issue is. And and honestly, in times like this, it's hard to voice that because as soon as you say some shit like that, you're automatically defending a deviant and all this other shit. Like, nah, not in the least bit. Like you said, we got the Weinsteins out here. We got Kevin Spacey out here. We got all these dudes who's been out here just the crazy. Part is Kevin Spacey said, "Yeah, I did that." And straight he's up, yeah, he, straight up, like yes, I raped the kid. Show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he just took his show. Man. And you you have all these people who you know come from the same circle who are free. Shit, some of them are president. You know they <laughs> they, they, they doing all this shit, and it's like you. It's, it's going back to what you said. It seems very calculated. When you got somebody that's seen as America's dad and that face is colored, you want to you want to fix all that mm-hmm. shit. The last person <laughs> they tried to bring in another America's dad with Seventh Heaven, he was fucking little boys, but he's another prime example. Admitted to that admitted too. Admitted to fucking <laughs> little boys. 
You know what I mean? And he just walks free. Do I think Cosby should get out? No. Do I think he should do his whole 10? Yes. Do I think he's going to get out in two? Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's just really, that's truly how I feel. But the fact that so many other sexual deviants walk cool, just fine. Harvey Weinstein's bell, that's chump change. change. Got that shit in his pocket right, right. now. Niggas are really taking the wrong approach to it. Yeah. Cause they think Cosby should be free. Like y'all gotta, y'all gotta chill on that shit because this is the insensi- insensitivity that people are talking about. This is the shit that motherfuckers be going at. Like, and I also hate the, what if it was your daughter narrative? Like, don't, like, why would you put something like that on anybody? You know what I'm saying? Cause somebody can easily say, well, what if that was you? You know, like it's, if it was me, he, Bill Cosby wouldn't be doing jokes. He'd be dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. This is, <laughs> this is big facts. <laughs> this, this goes back to snowfall. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like just the, the conversation around it is, is, is really getting fucking annoying. Like from the people that think that all black men are just, we stand with Bill Cosby, them bitches is lying. And then, you know, he should be out and all this other shit. Like this is drawing a bigger wedge right. <laughs> right. that we're trying to repair. And I'm like, motherfuckers got to get on one accord. Motherfuckers got to really understand what's going on. But it just seemed like that shit's damn near impossible at this point. I think we have that issue because our generation, we, we're, we're, Shiny red ball, mm-hmm. right? So everything is, it, it's, it's numb. You're numb. We watch videos of people getting killed. We watch every day. You, you see the stories of grown men fucking these kids. You, you like literally, this, in and it, you yeah. share it and it's clickbait and you share it. Did you even, did you share it or did you open the link and read the article? Did you read the details? No, we don't connect with the details. We read the headline, right? The headline, fuck that shit. Share. Everybody else, fuck that shit. That's wrong. But nobody read the story. Right. Not to say there's anything in the story to be justified for the crime, but it's just we are not a generation of the fucking details. Right. We are a headline generation. What is the title? What is the boom? What's the wow? And when you get stuck like that, and that's how you end up in these shady ass fucking arguments because people are reading the headline and I've seen the meme and I think everybody has with Cosby in the corner and everybody else is all everybody white around dudes him. around yeah, him. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. well, how is he in jail? Ain't none of them in jail. And everybody's under it like, yeah, I can. Well, now you're responding to the meme. You're not responding to the crime. You have detached yourself from what the fuck actually happened. Right. Mm-hmm. And you're just talking about this fucking picture. Right. That somebody sat at their house and put it on the internet and just let the internet go. I'm about to be viral. Right. <laughs> and, and went viral with the shit and everybody's sharing and talking about it, but nobody's, you're not having the conversation about the crime. Right. right. You're having the conversation about the color of the people. You know, and that, and what pisses me off is we're, we're making this argument from the assumptive point that women haven't done this too. Right. There are women that have done this to other women. There are women that have done this to men. But right now, you know, is that the conversation? No. no. The conversation is, these are the men we know. Right. What are we going right. to do? And that's and that's why I like it that we're going to have cognac conversations in two weeks because we get to actually have this fucking open dialogue where everybody can, let's take a pause and step back and let's really look at what's going on instead right. of on the internet where you can't hit enter fast enough and if your motherfucking ass can't type, well, now you misspelled shit, now you look so <laughs> stupid, you might have the most valid fucking point in the right, argument. right. But it's not happening fast enough. Right, exactly. You know, that's why it's great that we're doing something live because we're actually going to have a real audience conversation, conversation right. about this shit. And it's not going to happen in an abstract way where it's just a couple of dudes sitting in a room and all men and men only. No, there's going to be women there to voice their opinion and mm-hmm. their thoughts. So it may actually, shit like that is what's going to progress the conversation because we keep trying to do this shit on the internet. And I don't know about y'all. But I get into it with my girl every day about misreading a text. Right. And I love my woman. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can only understand if you misread or you are in a certain mind state when you read something. Well, that's the road you're about to travel, even if that's not the person's intention. Right. So I think, you know, to, to your point, that's why we have the issue we have with, um, you know, what are people mad about? Right. You know. Right, because now it looks like we're arguing a point that what that this person should be free and not mm-hmm. these people should be arrested. You know, like I said earlier, I'm glad that um, Weinstein got indicted. I think Weinstein is going to do some time. I know it's rare that we see white folks, you know, get the time, but I do think he is going to do some time. Mm-hmm. Uh, from what we talked about on the show, his victims were the right color for him to do crime. That is very for, true. For him to do the time. Right. That's true. why R. Kelly isn't doing the time because all of his victims are black. Yep. You know what I mean? So. This does, you know, advance the conversation of taking rape culture seriously. Now, I do want to kind of stay on 
the Cosby being guilty thing for for just a second. When you look at these celebrities and how they're getting picked off, you know, due to the Me Too movement, which, again, I appreciate, you know, fully. It, it makes you think that when you have that position of power, when you know that you can get away with anything and then you still go to that place of, well, I'm going to I'm going to drug him either way or I'm going to you know whoop the ass or whatever. I don't understand how you lose that human aura of yourself. I get what you're saying. Yeah. To be like, I'm gonna, I want to overpower this person. I know I can get away with this, but I know I can get away. Same right, but just in, right, you like nothing right, kicks yeah. in, nothing like kicked you in know, this wasn't right. Yeah. Like this can possibly come back and bite me in the ass, right. or you know, I know what I'm doing is wrong, or I'm probably about to ruin this woman's life because it could have literally, literally been a death sentence. Right. There's a lot of women that don't come back from that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. So it's like, especially something like Cosby. Who was touching lives And y'all said it yourself Everything that he did In his career Just done Right Done at, at his own hands At that So it's like To know that you were doing So much good How do you completely Remove any human element Of yourself And become a predator Like that shit Will never make sense to me Not all man But Well of course I, not all I, man, you know, I, I'm gonna say Not all man But I think most men Can, can agree that uh, It's a lot of dudes out there That think what they pain Absolutely. And that's, I think that could have been one of the cases. You know what I mean? He was, he got in that moment, seen something hot and, and was thinking with his pain and fucked up. But, and even that, that, that shit is still wild because you, you yeah, it is wild to us because we're not designed to think that way or right. be that way. But for him, it, it, it could have been different. Yeah. And, but, you know, and just touching your point with it, with him not being successful, if she didn't want to fuck, Someone was downstairs that wanted yeah, to fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like, is that Cosby? I'm right. gonna go get the pudding pop. You know what I'm saying? Like it could have instantly turned into something completely different. And I'll just no matter what level of success is meant for beat and meant for us here, I don't see myself getting to the place where I feel entitled to yeah. any of that shit. Because at the end of the day, only thing I'm entitled to is whatever success comes because of the work that we put in. Right. I'm not entitled to nobody's body. I'm not entitled to nobody's right. well-being. I'm not entitled to none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm entitled to me and what the fuck I do. And if the other right. person feels that way, they'll make it be known. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree with you. The the You know, you got to play the devil's advocate of a situation is fame. Yeah. Fame... Even if you Famous haven't people experienced say that's it, you watch point. that shit. That's a fucking addiction. That's a yeah. drug. Cause that, Famous people say it's a drug. Yeah. yeah. It becomes an entitlement because you, you look at, was I watching Nick Cannon's interview with Big Boy, right? Mm. And it was like a little random snip of him talking about, yeah, me and Omarion used to bang out bitches on the Scream Tour. What? You and Omarion? Well, maybe not Omarion. You know, Omarion was a kid. I was a grown man. Like that made it, it was so weird cause he said it Casually, just so right. cash. That, you know, if any of those women from the Scream Tour days ever come out and say Nick Cannon raped me. They got him. He's on mic saying it yeah. casually. No, like, it, right. yeah. I was famous. I had a lot of money. I really I was young. And Does that and mean that like, Omarion got raped? I mean, we know Chris Stokes raped him, but do we? I mean, you know. <laughs> I hey, thought, man, wait, Chris Stokes raped Omarion? I thought he did the other ones. I, I, thought, I already hey, took man, them all if, if one B2K got touched, all B2Ks <laughs> got touched. Damn. Damn. He got touched as a unit, goddamn. Right. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's my thing. Technically, like, I mean, Omarion got raped. Yeah. And so it, it, it becomes a weird conversation because, like you said, right now we don't see it. We don't see it, but. 20, 30 years from now beats a big thing. It's not so much, I don't think, entitlement to another person's body. It's more positional and like, you know, like being a boss. I'm a manager. Mm -hmm. You have to fucking listen to me. Mm. You have positional authority, not actual authority. I didn't give I get you permission. What to, I, get what I don't respect you and I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this because you're over me in some capacity. I get you what you're saying. You're holding, right. you know. Bill Cosby, you probably wasn't used to hearing though. No. Yeah. You can build an empire. Look at Dr. Cosby. You can build an empire. 30 years ago was the era of drugs. Drugs was a part of, like, you did drugs openly in clubs. You, you sniffed coke off bodies. You took shots. Like, you, that's what the era was. Him in the Playboy Mansion with Hugh. That's what it was. Right. Now it's a crime. Now it's a big, uh, it's not socially acceptable. Mm -hmm. And, and we're persecuting him now for something that 30, 40 years ago was normal. Yeah, and it's not to yeah. justify I, I get what you're the saying, behavior, I agree with but that. it's like, it was regular news. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just what we that. did. Right. And this is what happened and everybody knew. This is what went down when we was out. 
30 years later, we're persecuting a man for it. And that's my fear is turning to a society where uh, you just you can accuse anybody. See, right. that's why I don't deal I, with I people. Can just, I can sue you right now. You touch Wait, me. What? That's why I don't deal with people. <laughs> that's why I don't and deal with this people. is why Kev this might be the best at all. Because he's got 17 myself. Facebook friends. You can't come 20, 30 years talking about we did this. No, the hell we didn't. <laughs> we did. <laughs> like, not even kind. <laughs> but, you know, and, and again, I, I, I agree with you. I understand that when you get to that place where you're not used to hearing no and you're not used to basically not getting your way because mm-hmm. everything outside of what this person is saying, I control. I get that. 30 years ago, that was the norm. Everybody was doing Quaaludes to just specifically deal with sex. That was the times. I just, I don't see how none of that, you know, was was taken into account. Yeah. How you lose the human. Exactly. No, exactly. That's what it goes back to. How do you you lose the human and you just operate off of pure status? I get, I get you. I get you. Um, I think it's two in it. I think, uh, we, we as people, Forget to realize the generational gap. Right. Like me, I know I do it. I've, and that's probably why I was good in my first one, but I, I'm, I, we all do it. We, we know where we want to be. We see it on social media, how we want to do about it. We watch an interview, how we would conduct that interview back then. They would, they didn't have that. Right. You know what I mean? So to get somebody like a Bill Cosby in a position of power, that's all still new. That's all still fresh. So not justifying it, but he could have been doing what he thought was the way to go. And then the norms, yeah, you shouldn't lose, use, excuse me, shouldn't lose the human part. But if everybody's doing Quaaludes, this is what we're doing to you. You are do, doing the human thing. Right. You know what I mean? So you, you got to kind of look at it both ways. But yeah, he, he in there. He, he should stay in there. No, oh, I see. He, he definitely got to. And, and <laughs> this could be an unpopular opinion as well. When I say that he definitely should be doing the time, I it's really hard for me to reference the 30 years ago, you know, just because of, it's like you said, things get shaky. I'm speaking in regards to the case that came out in 05, 06, 07, you know what I'm saying? Right, the depositions right. that, the one that happened recently yeah, within the, the last that he 20 years. Because yeah. now you you have no excuse in 2005, right, 2006. Because we weren't playing that in 2005. I understand Me right. Too and rape culture wasn't, you know, widely known, but at this point, you know what the fuck rape is. You're right. right. You know what I mean? You've at seen the end of the day, you know, you from. can't go down to the corner and get no goddamn crazy. Exactly. Blues, so. 05, 06, 07, <laughs> right. you didn't seen Kobe, right. you didn't seen Pac, you didn't seen Tyson, you saw it all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, at this point, you know what rape yeah. is, but yet you're still... Use, you're still not thinking like a human. You're thinking of your status. You're thinking mm-hmm. of the figure that you are. Right. So that's that's my issue. How long y'all think uh, his wife got before she leave him? Because she got to be a trooper. Stay, they stay through allegedly no, 30, 30 women. She's movie? banking on him to die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that right there's, now. there's no benefit to leave That's what I'm saying. Like, well, yeah, he's true. going to die. True. She is more than likely his primary beneficiary, if not the soul. Yeah, he had kids, but you know. Yeah. You know, you, you leave a majority of what you got in your estate to your spouse. Right. So whatever's left, she's getting all of that mm-hmm. shit. I'm sure uh, it's a lot. So the properties, whatever, any, you know, intellectual property he may have had. He was he was Dr. Bill Kyle. Like, anything he owns, his name, she's going to get there's no benefit to leaving. There's no well, strong, you're a strong well, black woman. Like, well, the reason like, I say that is because. Like you're 80 years old, but you've been riding this out for like the next 26 I, minutes. The reason, <laughs> the reason I say that is because I lunch. think if he does die, and I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming he has to pay fines, those still have to get paid. Yeah. So, yeah, so technically it'd be coming at her money, but if she leaves and he die, I think she's not legally no, with I'm, him, so I'm, I think he, they just asked out. I'm pretty sure there was enough business minded Cosby around uh-huh. that. He got some, his estate is gonna be just fine. No, like, so, yeah, if he's <laughs> smart, he he had to have some money put away he got, somewhere. He, he got some stashed off that when he yeah. dies, gonna be like he didn't know a single person. Yeah. Um. Before before we move off of this, because we've already been on it close to an hour. One thing that that was brought up, and, and it's interesting because it's going back to the believe the victim thing. One thing that was brought up was Omarion was sleeping with all these women during the scream tour. Does it change when it's the reverse? Because you see it all the time when it comes down to the kids fucking the teachers. Teachers. They stupid. Some of these teachers yeah. be fine. I don't know why they snitching. There are two teachers in particular at Mojave that they gave up the <laughs> scholastic <laughs> panty drawers. Yeah. You wouldn't have heard shit from me until graduation. <laughs> I got on the mic, they she still, missed so-and-so, <laughs> took that down. <laughs> I just walked off stage. <laughs> they still, and they still both look like that. Yes, exactly. So that's the, With the that's same the build. Crazy. That's crazy. But no, nah, I, I think that's funny. Yeah, it's, I think it's the same energy. I think, and you have to. Otherwise, it weakens the movement. 
you got to hold the other side just as accountable because it there's no difference. Right. And if you create a difference, well, now you just shot your own movement in the fucking ass. That's why I think a lot of True. black movements struggle. Yeah, hell yeah. It's because we want it to apply how we want it to apply. Just for that moment. Just so, <laughs> for so that, we for can this benefit situation, from that yeah. Let me win right here, but in a mirror situation, just flip the ro- role players. No, I don't like nah, that. No, I don't like how that plays out. Like, no, I don't like that, that, that shit. <laughs> that, that, you know what I'm saying? If, we're, if, if you're going to make a rule, you want to make it black and white. You want equality. You want fairness. You want everybody to be equal. Everybody's human. Okay. You want to have the conversations. You want people to be vulnerable. All that. <laughs> right. Then, But there are still niggas getting laughed out the gate when they get raped. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's my thing is you, if you want it to be a thing, it has to be a blanket boom. There cannot be any ifs, ands, or buts. Because if yeah. there's a but, well, now you sound just as fucked as niggas when they say but. Right. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> now, so it's, keep that same energy. And then, but then, the, and then the excuse is going to be, well, y'all niggas weren't did it, did it, So it's like, so you don't want equality. Right. You don't, <laughs> you don't want equality when it works for you. You want <laughs> shit when it's beneficial when it, when to you, beneficial and, it's, to you. And, it's, and it's convenient for this moment. In the mirror situation, 10 minutes from now, you want to completely different version of this and that's just not how law works mm. that's why i said him doing state time instead of federal time that's going to be a problem right um and if you're going to make the example that's why i think he got state time because he is the example well now they can go give everybody else two years two years three years four years ten years yada, 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 and do is, the, is Look, the world justice. is the world happy <laughs> now they're all doing time State time is fucking more relaxed than federal time, and these motherfuckers are rich. Right. Cosby's in a cell by himself. He ain't got no fucking cell. True. <laughs> I, heard, I, heard, I heard they was moving him to gym pop, which I don't really Yeah, I don't, I don't believe, believe that. that but, like, so, yeah, they'll tell us that all day, but yeah. I've. Yeah. Only you person. live stream the prison sentence? <laughs> right. You know, right. Like the only, Truman Show. Only most recent celebrity you know, I've seen go to jail Cosby to get general. Nah, you're not nah. doing that. <laughs> Hey, they make it big respect out there too. <laughs> hey, man, I was gonna stab my mom's, but then the motherfucking episode, Lil Bill came on. You a real nigga for that <laughs> one. Bill. And I think it was messed up is the prison population now is younger. Mm, yeah. So this is post Bill being Bill. Bill. Yeah, true. His niggas old and telling people to pull out their pants and tell, like, <laughs> call all young black men hoodlums and shit. I'm like, oh, pull so up my I'm, pants? I like to get fucked. I'm what if you say that? Right, like, like, so gonna get like, this dick know, he's, right, like, he's dealing with a different type of gym population out there. Boy, these 19 year olds don't know the fuck Bill Cosby. It's, it's, right. it's a different so shit they dealing with. You the, the, the jello pudding we do. <laughs> my dad oh, so you got the pudding pop. Got you, got you. So you know Lisa Bonet? Since we stand on this topic, you seen the Quincy doc? On yes, Netflix? I watched it yesterday. Bro. I was I was epic. Yeah, Ama- amazing documentary. But I was let down because I feel like you told us about Richard Pryor fucking Marlon Brando. I think casually. they did that on purpose. <laughs> I think I, they did that on purpose. <laughs> that was regular conversation. <laughs> you know, this, that doc took place like a couple years ago. So I think uh-huh. they did that on purpose. I would not be surprised before he go. He, he got to put a tell out book out. Yeah, if he just does, let that shit air out. I'm I don't know if it. I can read it. I'm buying <laughs> it. I'm going straight to the back. I don't even care about the beginning of your life, bro. Brad, oh, Brad. I'm nah, going nigga, straight I'm, to that. Page, I'm reading bro. the Cliff Notes and getting my heart hurt. He fucked who? You're right. I thought Damn. it was. I thought it was dope though. Like, I mean, to us, we 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 can look at it, but to him, like, do you like like Dre said at the beginning? Do you know you Quincy Jones, bro? Like. When you were doing what you were doing, did you know that would be in the history books? Right. Or was it a Tuesday to you? But you know what, though? Speaking of Quincy, and then I promise I'm going to get off this subject. He's a solid example of what I'm talking about, of being a guy of the times. From the 30s, there were so many things. Nigga, hitting women was normal in the 30s and yeah. the 40s. You know what I'm saying? Graduating. Yeah, you, do that. you want to act it up? Go hit her. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, she ain't listening. She ain't cooking. Backhand. You know, that shit was just normal in the She'll 40s and that. the 50s. <laughs> so, like, growing with those times, at least I don't, I don't remember any stories about Quincy Jones. To know that there are people who lived and died in these eras and we've still yet to hear anything. Not saying it just doesn't exist. Don't get me wrong. But we just never heard anything. There had to be some kind of human element that existed in these people. If nothing comes out. Mm-hmm. There had to be some kind of human element in these people that allowed them to not go to that place. And as we see with Quincy, he's had his hand in everything music. <laughs> or maybe that person would just wasn't on that. 
It, that's a possibility too. Well, like, like all, they, they got all like James Brown. Like, maybe he got up to fame or whatever the case was. Maybe he just wasn't on it like that. But that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Like but that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a human element to it. He's just not on it like that. Okay, so he just he has to be have a little more rape in him. No, I'm just saying that that I mean, everybody. I'm, I'm saying it to say everybody with power is not a rapist, as we as we know. You know what I mean? So Bill Cosby, he was on it like that. But, somebody but, else with, with right, but, similar but, power probably wasn't on it. That's exactly what I'm saying. He just wasn't on. He wasn't on it like that. So what like like what? I would I would say it probably comes down to the person. Yeah. Right. Like the person that you are, and then the person you're dealing with. That's what I mean. Like it's you not know, always like I get what you're saying. Like. Human shit should kick in off top, but I'm saying if you're not on it like that, then that human shit ain't gonna never kick in. Or if you never uh, meet resistance, yeah, you're a musician. You're backstage. There's women. There's groupies. We're drinking. You engage me. Very little conversation. Very little court. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't talk to you right. to get you to do you. whatever you're chilling. engaged in right now. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> you offered uh, this, right? So. Do I then, am I the offender in that situation? You know what I'm saying? Is it, I was here, you was here, we made adult decisions. Does that make me the offender because I'm the famous person? Mm -hmm. Does that make you a victim? You chose to be here. How many women, you know, will say, I chose to be there, I did it, nothing happened to me? Well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't come to light. You wouldn't. You'd be like... There would be nobody to tell the story because they yeah. made a conscious choice. I think what changes the situation is the set of circumstances. Drugs, was alcohol involved? Was yeah. it, you know, five guys and I was the only girl there? Or, you, know, you know, the scenario can really shape the narrative. And that's why I think for some people, you would never hear those stories because they never put themselves in that position. They didn't have friends. They didn't really let motherfuckers in their house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I didn't really let people around me like that. Or it was always me and people I trusted mm. to protect me and keep me out of situations. And I think, right. you know, as people, you know, as time progresses now, that's why you end up with the R. Kelly. Mm. I don't think in this day and age, an artist can do what they did then. Oh, no way. Not even kind of. Because social <laughs> media moves so fucking fast. Information Hell, you can't even talk to a so person quick. or something. Right. You right. can't even write. I'm <laughs> you like, even do that. you call a woman a bitch. You... What? What you call her? What? Like you're you're in, as a, as a celebrity. We're not saying it's acceptable if you're not famous, but you know you you say something crazy, you're instantly clickbait. Right. What the mm-hmm. fuck did you say? You know, slavery was a choice. What the fuck did you say? <laughs> but niggas you know forgave him like, real fast. Like, that's that album that album drops. That, that's that selective fast. outrage. Right. <laughs> and that and that's what I'm like. So I think now I think we're. Technology has helped mm. progress a lot of this yeah. where a victim can come forward and the news will drop it and lawyers will talk and you'll never see the victim's fucking face until the day of the court. Case. Right, like, right. Oh, that's what she looks like. Right. Uh. Uh. And then and there's the kick of, oh, she ain't attractive. Like you get the weird shit. Like when Usher right. had his little situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he came out. Oh, quick. Nope. Not her. She, she's nope. not attractive. I don't think Usher did it. Why did her look <laughs> tell you? No, nah, Usher didn't do that. Selective what outrage. That? That's all it is. Selective outrage. Well, I think that probably that part probably comes from the regard that we would hold Usher to. Like we look at it like, you know, he can get whatever women. Why would he get that? I think that's if that he can have from. whatever. That's his whatever. I know some cats that like women. Of just some oblong ass shapes, man. It's like, but that's they thing. If that's your bag, it's your bag, baby. Who am I to Those boys that never, never come to the family function. Right, like, <laughs> you kidding? Which boys can I come? No, but I'll see you at two in the morning. Right. Two in the morning. Don't be at my door. <laughs> right. <laughs> leave the door um, open. Just leave the door open. Come outside. Just leave the door open. <laughs> but uh, just kind of transition off of this to kind of go to um, viral stuff. I just realized herpes is viral, so not like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> None of us listen to the album, at least fully, or at least enough, rather, I'll say that. But Lil Wayne dropped Carter Five, Find a Fucking Lee. <laughs> I don't want to have a conversation on the album just yet, because uh, like I said on the Kaleidoscope, I want to give it a few more listens. Mm-hmm. I'm currently going through Listen 2 right now. Um, you could definitely tell which songs were probably from the original Carter Five or got mm-hmm. recorded leading up to the release of the Carter Five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the one that gets talked about the most is uh, Mona Lisa with, with uh, Kendrick. Kendrick. Kendrick gas per the usual. Yes. However, it is an older Kendrick kind of gas. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could definitely tell this was a Pippa Butterfly 
Mm. You know, Tom Kendrick gas, you know what I'm saying? With the multiple voices and the <clears throat> anyway, but if you heard the song, you know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> I bring this up to say, how long do we go without mainstream coverage of Lil Wayne before Carter Five dropped? Yeah. Well, because of the lawsuit and dealing with Birdman, he kind of stayed. Yeah, he kind of did. Was but it? it had nothing to do with music. It had nothing, exactly. It had nothing to do with music. It was all business. You know, I low key forgot. You, you, you kind of forgot you were waiting for shit. Right. Like, <laughs> it, got to, it got to the point where it was uh, detox. Yeah. It got to the point it was detox. It got to the point you recognized Wayne as commander in chief of Young Money. Right. You didn't recognize rapper. Wayne as the artist. However, his shit dropped and he's been controlling the conversation ever since. Mm-hmm. I say again, I say all that to say, I understand we are in this shiny red ball era where you got to be hot right now. If you're not, then I'm moving on to the next. Yet Wayne drops and controls the conversation. Going back to the conversation that we had, is there really still a place for the OGs in the game? Yes. I think so. Absolutely. I agree. I just I didn't know if somebody was going to play. They just got to switch up. They just got to switch it up. I, I think the OGs right now, with the way the kids are, honestly, they got to give them disguised medicine when they want to give it to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like give them some shit, but make it make it consumable. Right. You know what I mean? Like cherry flavor rubble testing. I don't know. Like that's what they need to do. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, no, it's gross. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's gross. Hey, hey, take the testing. <laughs> feel better. cured everything. <laughs> but, but that's broke my foot. Take get some testing to lay down. Yeah, you be what? good. But but that's what I'm talking about. Like I look at how M gave us two albums this year, uh, just based off a conversation alone, and somehow we still get back into the conversation of people being washed and people, you know, need to give up and just kind of go off to the side. That's that's something I'm never necessarily going to understand when it comes down to one us as black people that say it, and two just hip hop culture in general. Because again, we didn't talk about Wayne anything. Shit, you want to really go back when Dre dropped Compton? He controlled the conversation. True, right. it quickly ended when they realized how Compton was because it wasn't detox. But if Dre was to drop detox tomorrow, that would that would be all the conversation in the culture. Yeah, people, we would forget about the Wayne album real quick, fast. It's just I don't understand how we get, you know, we're, 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 it's almost like we're being programmed to just not fuck with anything that came before two thousand ten. As if, you know, there isn't a lane for these people, as if these people aren't still in high demand. People forget that, uh, what was it, uh, the juvenile record? Huh? That shit came up with 99, 98, 99? Something mm-hmm. like that, yeah. They were rocking there, yeah. for 20 years. Yeah. Cash Money been in the league for some years. Block is high was, not, was 99, 2000? Yeah, they've been around. You know what I'm saying? Like, like They've been around for a cool minute. And yet, Wayne can still drop an album that people have been anticipating for four or five years and then just control the conversation in hip hop. For to to the end of the weekend. Um, right, that's, like, that's, that's I'm, I'm like, with you on that to the end of the weekend. What, yeah. what what the timing, right? He he was supposed to drop it, then he just said, I'm dropping on my birthday. And he dropped it on his birthday, but now you got Gates, you got Logic, you got like Right, you got a lot of got, things happening. You yeah, drop around the time of a lot of other people. Now you're gonna see what it is. But like I said, our generation is shiny red ball. Real quick. That's right. it. Carter five, but next weekend, Carter six needs to drop, nigga, because you don't have time. No, I think, <laughs> I think we are, time is not on your side. And then two, you got to think, when records used to come out, dropped a single, waited did a, a couple dates. Right. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you did a TRL visit. You did a couple <laughs> of radio spots. And you dropped the, the access, another song. Access granted on BET like for the video. Six <laughs> months later, you dropped another song. Now we're dropping, uh, it's going to be a, dropped in December. Album so rollouts used to one, be like eight months. An yeah. album for almost a year, and then the album sat and marinated for a long time. People talked about it because there wasn't anything else coming out that sounded like Cash Money back then. There was right. nothing else that came out that sounded like when New York had New York sound. Mm. That was the sound. Cali had a sound. Atlanta had the sound. So you know, now everybody has everybody's fucking sound. The shit is so it's the blended. same Flat because so the OGs. It. Are trying to keep the ear of hip hop, but we forget hip hop used to be one, two, three. Like <laughs> people don't rap. Right? People don't rap like that anymore. You don't get the um bat on New York anymore. You don't get a lot of the live instrumentation until like nip, and then like some people still do it for the Cali for the West Coast, but it's everything sounds the same. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like when we used to go to college. When we was in college, they used to drop a 
OJ the Juice Man song of fucking Gucci. And then like, it's like, did the song change? It's, just, it's the same. It's a long song. It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> so I think, I think Kaz, you know, you, you just don't got the time. So you control the conversation, right. but for five minutes. And, but yeah. and then you don't right. control and, it. No, and, no, trust me. I, and that, from that aspect, I completely understand because that's, I mean, it happens with everybody. Like, you know, we've already, think about all the shit Kanye has already done. You know what I'm saying? And we, we constantly talking about something new with Kanye. I absolutely understand that they're going to control that week until the next guy drop. What I'm talking about is people that treat the OGs dropping as if everybody is on like LL Cool J's level. True. LL Cool J drops something tomorrow. We grew up during a lot of LL Cool J's rise. He drops something tomorrow. I am not rushing to it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I have nobody no for interest it. in it whatsoever. Right. But like we said, if Detox was to drop tomorrow, that's that's the conversation. <laughs> you you would have that conversation because you waited so long. Okay, so I, I, I'll give a better example then. Um, Nas, we're supposed to get a Nas album for the year close out. Right. That drop, that's going to be the conversation. Is it right. better than the six uh, song <laughs> project he did with Kanye? You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's the conversation. Because you waited so long, you heard Nas was working with Yeah, you wanted to see what it was, you got what you got. There was a lot of disappointment. <laughs> Tons. <laughs> and I'm a Nas. If, if there was a Nas Jay Z separation in the room. That's one of the, our arguments. I'm the Nas side out. He dropped something else as a Nas fan, as a purist. Yes, you fucking love that shit. Mm. Hip hop culture, big ear. Ah, ah, maybe, <laughs> maybe why? Because this generation has its Nas. It has J Cole. Mm-hmm. Mm. This generation has its who I connect to. Nas has always spit lyrical death. He's gonna die. Several Nas the, the, <laughs> like the, the, drama album. That was a terrible album. Well, you know. <laughs> You know, you know, that was a terrible. Yeah. Album. Everybody <laughs> has a song. <laughs> you know, that's Absolutely just, terrible. That's album. Just, you, you know, you did it for yourself. You know, so right. I just now, to put so let me ask this: with the with you know, what I'm saying the, the the question I just posed before. And I have a new question: Are you looking forward to any more Lil Wayne from here? Me personally, I was never a, a big Lil Wayne fan anyway. So I'm not. Don't get me wrong. So don't get me. Don't get me wrong. He he has songs that I I love and I like. Like especially on Carter too. Like I love lo- I love it. But I'm not. Oh, wow. I'm not checking for him. Like that's not my thing. Now. So I'll ask from the perspective of the listener with the shiny red ball syndrome being such a big thing. Is there still room for Wayne in the industry at this point? I believe there's still room because the the artists that are buzzing are gonna gravitate to him. So there always is gonna be room. You know what I mean? Like, like we fail to realize, like, I, I get what you're saying. Like, people say that the OGs ain't got no, no depth or no, no, they, they don't have nowhere to go. You know what I mean? Like, they're mm-hmm. stuck. They just need to hang it up. But if we, we have to realize that the people that are saying this are not our generation. Like, it's, it's a lot of younger guys saying it. Naturally, it's a lot of younger. Everybody that's of our generation, they're like, no, nah, we'll listen to them still. So we, we got to put that in perspective. That's why I don't pay attention to a lot of hip hop criticism. I don't even talk hip hop with people if it's not in this room or like online. Right. I don't do it. <laughs> I don't do it because it's, 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 it's biased. It's, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. It's, and then, like I said, a lot of the people are un, un younger than us. So they wouldn't understand what, what we like. You know what I mean? Yeah. They wouldn't, they have a J. Cole. So they're not going to understand or like a Nas. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, that's the way I look at it, at least. I definitely, I definitely think there's a place for Wayne. Cause Wayne is in his own lane. Right. Wayne has kind of always been in his own fucking space. You listen to all the car, lay all the car albums and just plush play and just spend a day. Right. Some of the lines are the same. Mm-hmm. There's some of the lyrical cadence is the same. Some of the delivery is the fucking same. The, He's going to talk about eating are, pussy. Mm-hmm. He's going right. to talk about drugs. Exactly. Right. They're, they're abstract. They're, you know, they're just, he's just out there, but then he gives you one mm-hmm. and you like, that's my shit. Like but even, shit but even then, he's shit. influenced so many people. Yeah. People going to mess with him off top. Yeah. So I think he has that. That is the other part of it, is he's not so far gone. Mm. Like, Jay used to have his hands on a lot of people's career. So he kind of rolled a wave of everybody else's famous because Jay was famous. And then Jay became right. what he became. Wayne touches a lot of shit right now. There's not mm. a lot of rappers currently that can't say something about Wayne didn't inspire and influence them. And he's still kicking and he's still right. going. And like I said, it's just his about ability to tap into the young, younger demographic without looking like a fucking fool. Like Jay-Z could never do what Wayne does. Nah. Cause you, he would look fucking crazy. 
you know, at his age and and, and oh, you talking about like, like material wise? Yeah, he oh, looked okay. fucking crazy, right? You and know, what I'm saying? Looked, Wayne, <laughs> Wayne did the drugs. He sipped the lean. Mm. He's that you nigga. You heard, had he didn't put that lighter on the beginning of this motherfucking album. People would have been like, I can't even listen to this shit without the light. Yeah, I did see that a lot. I like, did see that a lot. I didn't see it. I don't hear that first light like, flick. I did that. Is, that a, is Wayne. There's a meme that said, <laughs> <laughs> like me when uh, Lil Wayne's mom started crying on the intro and some dude reaching his hand out the shower to change the change song. The song. <laughs> yeah. They got the lighter flick, but it's like, I don't need all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can go from yeah. here. <laughs> so yeah, no, nah, I think Wayne, Wayne definitely still has a position that Wayne definitely has a spot. Uh, I think he's he's going to kind of be solid in the conversation until they decide he gets to be on like the Mount Rushmore, yeah, so to speak, of of hip hop. And I don't think he gets that yet. And I don't know why he doesn't, because he he flipped the shit from a kid and made himself a multi millionaire. I think right. it's because of the times. Because I was just thinking the same thing. I think it's because of the times. Because if you if you look at somebody maybe older than us who they got on their Mount Rushmore, it's people that we probably. Wouldn't fuck with, but it's all from hip hop. It's yeah, somebody, 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 somebody say KRS one. I'll be like, right. sure, right. But Jay, <laughs> Jay's on our Mount Rushmore not only because he can get into booth and body shit, but because of what he did outside of rap. Outside of rap, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I don't think I think me personally, I don't know if Wayne's doing stuff outside of rap, but I don't see him making it to Mount Rushmore just off rap. No. He has to do something outside of it in order to get there. Because yeah. if you think about the people that we got on that list, shit, do any of them really still rap anymore? That's on the Mount Rush. I mean, we get Jay. Jay, with Jay just dropping. But I mean, we got to put Puff there, right? On hip hop rock, Mount Rushmore. Put Puff there. You got period. Probably. You got he, he put dropped an album, so you got to put him up there, right? Uh, uh, as a rapper, a at least business acumen, right? You put Puff up there as mm-hmm. a rapper. You don't get to put. Puff well, yeah, absolutely. As a rapper, no. <laughs> like, Puff is the guy putting the quarter in to look yeah, at right. Mount Rush. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. He looking Puff through the binoculars right now. Build hip hop because <laughs> he got the brain to do it. <laughs> he funded the build. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't think Puff gets to be on it. You're right. Yeah. I <laughs> nah, get what you're saying. Nah. Hip hop. Hip hop will always have room for people. I think we just we got to accept that the culture. It's changing. It's changing it's, it's, and it's moving. And it doesn't have a face anymore. Right. You right. Know, what hip hop is because. You know, black. Yeah. You know, he dropped like a little freestyle the other day, and people were like a hundred and some million views, and they're like, "This shit is fire." It was two and a half minutes. He was lacing, putting words together. He tied it, it didn't die, but I couldn't say that this was like mind blowing shit. I think it was mind blowing <laughs> because he's an R and B artist, right? And that's what I'm saying. I was like, hip hop is stretched so far that even in that moment, in that two and a half minute moment, that cadence, and there was no real great delivery. It was. He didn't do terrible. Oh <laughs> shit! Okay, well he might be all right. They One had, time, had that, Chris, that Chris Brown reacts like, "Oh god, Chris rapping on." Oh, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> and that's only because Tyrese fucked it up for everybody because he did. Black time. Yeah. Nobody should have signed yeah. off on Watts. Yeah. Watts shouldn't have got that's when the you, That's when you know you ain't got no real friends around you. Because it had to be that one nigga like, "Hey, Ty, bro, listen, I love you. I swear to God, I love you. This ain't the one. You, ain't should, it. you should just drop." The altar of yeah, the alter ego sure. album. Just the altar. <laughs> just the altar. Please, just leave the ego alone. Don't let Black Tie come to come to pass. Like, you know, you know, that's what you do. You're the Coca Cola of the lady bus remix singing. Or something. That's who you are. You don't, you don't, used to have. Don't, don't sway away from you used that. Used to sing with a tongue ring. Like, you know, Tyrese, you can't just rap now. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's not and your a, lane. And a belly button ring. Yeah, yeah. belly button ring. He had a tie. chin ring too. Yeah, he had he a face ring. Yeah, he did. I'm like, that's not your lane, my guy. I don't care how many I don't movies. Take you seriously? You're a tough character, sorta. You're the comedic relief in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> they don't take you seriously. You know like, don't, dude, this this ain't this ain't your lane. This ain't for you. This ain't for you whatsoever. What's going on? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. 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 As far as Tyrese concerned, he like nigga. I'm from Watts. What you talking right. about? Like, Everybody at Watts. I got a story. Right. I got a story to tell. But ah, you don't. You, you got don't. a nursery rhyme book where you open it. The picture pop. <laughs> That's your story it's to tell. Like, Tyrese with his arms folded. The story of a Watts legend. Like, right. I, I hear more about J Rock than I hear about you. Oh shit! So this was just a very long close. I definitely appreciate you coming through, bros. For sure. Uh, let people know where they can find you at. Uh, you can't find me. Uh, I am happily married in my household. <laughs> he said he lives uh, off need, the grid. I don't need <laughs> a DM no slide. I don't need none of that. But if you do want to converse with me, you hit up anything Beat Network. For those that don't know, I'm the CFO of the company. So I actually have a role here, but I do all the business. 
behind the scene paperwork stuff. So if you need anything, the hitting up the website is the best way to get in touch with me. Yeah. Gav? Oh, it's on me. Yeah. Um if you know where they can find you, they can finally reach out to you. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> right. Underscore Hollywood Kev on Twitter, Hollywood Kev underscore on Instagram. Do not message me. Jeez. They have Don't. to message you, Kev. We cannot. Don't. Don't. You can't be the slim to Los's baby. Like you know, what I'm saying? Don't. slim. Nobody talks to slim. You see, you see the difference. <laughs> you see the difference between that. It's because they got baby. They don't you need to talk got to slim. To talk to slim. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I do. I can talk to Los just fine. I can. Me and Los can talk all day, every day. The rest of them, they can just uh, I'm about talk to, to make Lose. like a secret. Hollywood, Kev, Facebook, and it's gonna You're, be filled with messages. Face face red, on I t-shirts. Read we putting him on beat merch, <laughs> just just his face. And with People hands, gonna think I died or something. Don't do that. Body, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, what happened to Kev? He cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying we to get him out there a little bit. That's him up. So, <laughs> this concern. Uh, big Los IG on IG. Like I said, I'm retiring. Snapchat no longer need to be hit up on Snapchat. Um, of course, you can follow everything uh, from the Big Three: Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Noise Podcast, and of course, everything Beat Network at BeatNetworkOnline.com. You can also follow the Beat Network page as well which you can access through the website cognac conversations october 12th the truth spot what shout time? out 6 30 yes 6 doors time. open at 6 30 and we are only taking bills at the door at this point so come with your cash and come ready to drink come ready to hear some great information and come ready to think bars put me on the mountain <laughs> i will drop the mic but i'm not gonna go buy another one so fuck that uh <laughs> as always we appreciate you guys tuning in as always we appreciate your support and as always big lows hollywood calves the noise